Hey, howdy. There was a minister. He was preaching one Sunday morning. He was really on his game. And he said, hey, people, if I had all the beer in the world, I'd take it and I'd pour it into the river. And then he got more energized. And he said, if I had all the wine in the world, I'd dump it into the river. And then shake on his fists and everything else. And he said, if I had all the whiskey in the world, I'd dump it into the river and then he sat down and the crowd was kind of silent for a few minutes and then the choir master stood up very cautiously announced with a smile close to laughing he said for our closing hymn we will sing hymn number 365 shall we gather at the river <laughs> hey hey on more important things the the white house press secretary terry catherine jean pierre she's the uh, first openly queer um person in that job and and she's interesting i mean she's all about the homosexual thing i won so everybody else should i guess dance and sing to us or something and, and she has all of this legislation thinking going on birds these birds are straight birds there's a lot of them hey and, and she wants to ban hardcore gay porn in school libraries she doesn't pardon me there's legislation that is looking to do that. She says, you can't do that. I mean, you should not ban hardcore gay porn in school libraries. And there's a whole list of other crazy things that she talks about. Watch her on TV. I mean, Biden, what is he doing? I mean, she's black, she's a woman, and she's homosexual. That seems to be the criteria to get a job at the White House, pretty much. I mean, back to when he got a vice president, I want a black woman. I mean, that's just, he's a racist. He really is a racist. Doesn't matter if you're good at your job or anything like that. It just matters if you fit into those little boxes that he wants to check all of the time. Let's go over to Sudan. This uh, civil conflict there, it's its not nice. It's going on and on and a lot of people are getting uh, moved out of their homes and certainly people are dying and, and uh, again, it's not nice. But let's just look at the political side of it. The U.S. Embassy staff is about 70 staff members. So the U.S. got them out of the country. That's nice, but let's look at this. 70 staff in Sudan. There's 5 million people in Sudan, you know, and 70 U.S. Embassy people, really? I mean, let's look at comparables. Let's look at Alabama. Alabama has 5 million residents, pretty much the same thing. They have nine federal politicians, two senators, and seven in the House of Representatives versus 70. And there's no war and fights and all that stuff going on in Alabama. So maybe there's something going on in the White House, again, with regards to that. Canada, they have this uh, catch and release uh, policy that has turned, uh, turned their cities into just cesspools, really. I, I mean, uh, senseless crimes and homelessness and drug abuse, and it's catch and release. You can do a bad thing and, and you don't even go to jail. Whereas if you're a legal gun owner, you go to jail if you don't turn your gun in. I mean. The, the inmates who run in the asylum, for sure. And Trudeau, the prime mistake of Canada, back in 2018 with uh, Bill C-75, uh, you know, he, he repealed bail. He says, you know, these people, they had a tough childhood and all of that. And he says, so we're going to repeal bail and so on. And he says, we need to do this because of the systemic racism in the justice system. <laughs> you know, those liberals, they talk about, well, there's too many Indians and there's too many black people, so that's racism. Actually, that's criminals who have committed crimes and they're in jail. That's really what it is. Duh. Dumb as sex, these people. Now, in the U.S. of A., uh, in 2023, apparently, there's been more than 120 school shooting incidents across America. And a lot of states are saying, hey, maybe we should allow school districts, we should allow teachers to have guns. Of course you should. I've said it before. If you don't carry a gun, and if you're not proficient in the use of a gun, you can't teach. You have to protect your children. It doesn't matter if it sounds bad. Of course it sounds bad, but you have to do that. It's your job. Children are the most important resource we've ever had and ever will. And they're still talking about it. A lot of places aren't. A lot of places have people carrying guns. We're going to have security guards. No, the first responders need to be the teachers. You need to teach people, kids, how to defend themselves. You need to do it first. Hey, a limousine liberal, they make me crazy. If they get mugged, they're making a lot of racket today. If they get mugged, and threaten the next day that limousine liberal she will go out and buy a gun and then she joins the neighborhood crime committee but then she says citizens shouldn't be armed and you shouldn't arm teachers to look after our kids warped and crooked as a fresh two by six plank i mean bah, hey y'all come back see ya